Is the Martini guy a modern Robin Hood that is helping people to become richer, or is he just a scammer? That's the question because the border between these two is quite thin. And we will discuss together what is the reality behind this kind of surface and most of all what I discovered just researching this topic. I want to add also that I'm not here to point a finger against anyone, but the reason why I want to share what I have discovered with you is because I want to help you to understand what is the behind the scene that not often is shown that is important to you to know in order to take the best decision for your own portfolio. And let me add before just jump into the topic that this channel is about educational content and nothing has to be intended as financial advice. If you want to invest in anything, that's fine, but do always your own research. Research for real, that's important. And finally, don't forget to leave us a big thumbs up, drop a comment and check out all our links into the description below. But let's start immediately. So who is the Martini guy? He's a content creator on YouTube, as you can see here, and also on Twitter. And in the last month, he published about two projects, Tap and Duffy on the other side. And as you can see from the charts, both of them had a big spike in the last month. And the reason why they spiked is also because he said that this project could really do 1000x in the next bull run in the next couple of months. But what is the reality behind these failures? Are really part of a big research process or really something else? Obviously, I don't have an answer and nobody can tell you the absolute truth because nobody knows that. But what we can do is dig into all the information that we have available in order to find out something. And I found six different signals that we will discuss together that are quite interesting. First signal, if we analyze the chart of Tap and Duffy, what we will find is that in the moment when the video was published, and here is the moment, as you can see, even before that moment, the price was going up by 5x in this case. I know that it doesn't look like, but this is the kind of upside that happened. So it looks like that someone was front running the users that were coming after the video. And if you checked, the same is happening also for Daffy. If we're trying to check out when the video was published, it was something around here. And as you can see, even in this case, just in a couple of days before, the price has gone up. So what was happening? Someone was front running or it is just a coincidence? I don't know, obviously. But there is another thing that I know. Look at this. Today around 5 p.m. I will publish the next research. Okay, 5 p.m., that's fine. But just a couple of hours later, he said, sorry, video waiting for YouTube to be approved. And a new estimated time release is a couple of hours later. So maybe it's true, I don't know. The video was waiting for YouTube to be approved. But look at this coincidence. In the moment when the video goes live, and this is the timestamp when he published the content on Twitter, it was, as you can see, 5.02 a.m., my time, that is a Singaporean time. But if you check on Duffy, you will see that just one minute before, they published a big announcement, a big update. Maybe it's just another coincidence, but it looks really like that they were just working to the aggregator, like being into a marketing campaign where Duffy is telling to the Martini guy, man, just wait a moment because we have to finalize the content and we need to uh, publish before you go out with your video. So people will be able to see exactly what we have released. That's the kind of look like, but maybe that's just another coincidence. I don't know. If we try to go even deeper, going to the third signal, is that you will see that in the both of the cases, the Martini guy was into the Telegram group much before the moment when he published about uh, in the last month. And in the case of Duffy, he was trying to pump it into, also into the past. So, wait, wait, wait a moment. It is just another coincidence that uh, all your researches so you are supposed to research and we have something like 20,000 of different coins, but in both of the cases, you ended up just publishing about something that you already had into your wallet that you were already using. Nothing bad. 
but one coincidence after another one, at least it is something peculiar. Going on, there is another quite interesting behavior. Neither Chop, neither Duffy said anything about the video of the Martini guy, at least not the admin said anything. Guys, someone talked about us, that's amazing, finally someone is noting us and is saying that we really have this kind of potential. That's something that didn't happen. If you check the Duffy uh, feed here, you will find no reference to the video of uh, um, the Martini guy. Same thing applies to um, Tap that published only here on Twitter the day after when the video came out with these two uh, sharing, but nothing was said on Telegram. Quite weird. It looks like that they didn't want to say, guys, there is this kind of video outside and we are some way involved. It's like uh, better to stay silent because uh, this content should be organic. Maybe it was, maybe it is for real. What I know is that somehow the team behind, as you can see, this is a screenshot from an admin, he is showing his, vol his wallet, no intent on selling it anytime soon. Well, to be fair, he is not showing his wallet, but just uh, uh, the balance. So we don't really know if he is still holding or not. In my opinion, or he is simply crazy, because also in the last video he said that uh, he is not planning to, to sell because he is believing that his top bag, bags will have a value of 150 million. Well, man, I don't know how much money do you have, but even if you are a billionaire, you invested 80K, you are right now around 4 million and you are not taking any profit or you are crazy or I don't know, that's quite, again, another weird way. Anyway, there is no uh, public address, so at least I didn't find that. If you know that, feel free to share it. So uh, we don't really know if he is still holding uh, his coins. But it's weird to see the admin of the project taking the defense of uh, a YouTuber, even if it was someone that decided by himself to publish about uh, the project. Uh, going on into, this is coming from the Duffy group, you will see that, uh, yes, Zion, that is uh, uh, the uh, founder of uh, Duffy, was in touch, was talking with uh, uh, the Martini guys, same team that they have, Runway and so on, and they were talking about uh, some possible marketing partnership, I don't know, maybe it's all a coincidence that uh, the Martini guy just waited a minute after to publish uh, his video, just uh, the moment after uh, the Duffy publish its own content. This is another thing that is quite interesting, is the fifth one, is that uh, in the both of the cases, both of the projects were just approaching a crucial moment. In the case of Duffy, they were just about releasing something important. In the case of Top, if you go just uh, here, you will see that they were just approaching an IPO. They were going to be listed on uh, the stock market in the UK. So it was a big moment for them and they were needing some kind of exposure. It looks like they haven't done any kind of big marketing, but incidentally, it happened that the Martini guy came out and pushed their backs. Quite interesting. At the same time, there is an also another thing that is really beautiful in my opinion. This is this one. So you are doing a research that should be organic, and you write something like, download the app on the link in today's video description. So you are inviting people to take action to download an app? Honestly speaking, that's not a way. You should push people to do their own research, not just downloading an app by a third party. And if you are wondering why downloading an app that's important, or at least could be important for a project like Tap, you should know that in the moment when you go into the stock market, you have uh, new shareholders that are coming into the company, new shareholders that are looking at your metrics. And having people that are downloading uh, your application shows that you are growing. So that's a good sign of health. So having a lot of subscriptions, obviously, it is just a vanity metric that, that's something that can last forever. But that's a good way to have a, a good approach to the market. Maybe it's just a coincidence and he wasn't aware that it's not the right call to action saying people download the app into the link description because I believe that it will go to 1000x and I wanna, uh, I wanna you to see how the uh, app is working. The right one will, would have been, guys, do your own research. That's something that I believe that going to this way, but maybe you can think it in another way. Do your own research and when you research something, 
you don't have to base your evaluation on the UX or UI of an app. You need to check the competitors on the market. What is the unique value proposition? You need to have business skills to evaluate a project. You need to have the ability to read a statement if it is any available. All of these things are required in the moment when you want to invest something, not obviously downloading an application. But going to the last point, that is quite another quite coincidence, is that in neither of this video, neither this other, he spent not even one second to talk about the risk. Because if you do any kind of research, obviously you will go through risk, so bad things and good things. And in a moment when you expose, you present your research, well, you are supposed usually to have the good part and the bad part just to give you the whole overview. That's what uh, it's, it is usually happening. In this case, none of it uh, happened. Why? Maybe he is just so in love with the project that he wasn't able to feel the, the negative aspects. Even, even so, that's quite a weird coincidence. Again, guys, I don't have an answer of uh, what happened behind the scene and nobody knows. The reason why I invite you to start thinking about this kind of stuff is because there is nothing, there are no free money and nothing goes up forever. Neither Daffy, neither Top. Maybe they will, they will become good projects and they will, have a, they will be able to grow into an export run, but it's not for granted. You need to remember that most of the projects will die in the next couple of years. And the reality is that most of the people will lose money. So remember guys, there is nothing bad on following the marketing guy, but the same kind of concept applies to any kind of influencer because that's the reality. Anyone is sharing its own opinion, someone in a certain way more shilling, someone in another way. But the reality is that nobody can tell you what is the truth behind any kind of project. Even me, I can just can tell you what is my opinion. I don't say that my opinion is right. I'm just sharing what I'm seeing. You feel free to have your own opinion. Most of all, if you want to invest in anything that I'm suggesting that the, uh, the Martini guys are suggesting BitBoy or whoever into the crypto market is saying anything about any project, before doing any kind of action investing, do your own research, but really means uh, looking into the project, what is that project and having a plan. A plan means, okay, I will enter because I believe that is a possibility the project will enter, will uh, go up by 10x or whatever. But uh, these are the rules. So this is the entry point that I want to get. This is the exit point. So the moment when I will take profit. And this is the moment when the scenario will change. So let's say that, uh, as in this case, if the price of Duffy breaks this support, a good idea maybe could be selling because it is changing uh, the trend, at least in the really short term. Whatever is your strategy, build it and execute it and do that no matter. Don't follow just your feelings, your emotions, because they can trick you. And guys, remember, there are no free meals and it is quite impossible that someone can simply hold forever if he is so in profit. Any good investor at a certain point will always take profit. And I suppose that if the Martini guy is a good investor, he also has his own exit strategy and he is not holding forever. Holding forever is not a strategy. Maybe you can apply it for Bitcoin, even if in that, also in that case we have seen this insane pump and dump. But the reality when applies to uh, altcoins, most of these uh, kind of uh, impulsive pump are not so different from the pump and dump groups that we have seen on many Telegram Discord chats. There are many of them and all they have they are doing is pumping the price and dumping the price. And the point is that it's not a fair trade because you know that uh, the people that are organizing the pump and dump are the people that obviously will earn the most. Yes, there is a possibility also for you, but you need to be aware of the risk behind that stuff. And the same applies for this kind of uh, situations. The martini guy of whoever is just uh, telling you that uh, something will do 1000x and he's telling you, I bought, you can do the same because uh, you will become rich. Well, be aware that obviously they are in the good position and that's not a fair trade. 
It doesn't mean that you can't take that. It doesn't mean that you can't make money through that, but you need to be aware of the risk and having a strategy in order to defend yourself. Guys, I hope that this video helped you to better understand what is the behind the scene and how to defend yourself. Guys, try to stay safe. Obviously, there is an opportunity to make money. Take it. But in order to take it, you need to have a plan and to execute it and also, obviously, to take in considerations uh, which are the risks related to this. Let me know what you think about the topic. Let me know into the comment section below what is your opinion about all of this story. Don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up and drop a comment and I will see you soon with another video. Bye, guys.